Alex. I'm actually going to have you lay down on the table now. <laughs> you can put your feet up if it's uncomfortable. Or you know what? Just examining your abdomen. Appears to be very flat. I don't see any obvious pulsations. And you might lift your head up just a little bit. And you can look, put it down. I was just checking to see if you had any obvious hernias when you contracted those abdominal muscles. All right, what I'm going to do first is listen. And I'm going to listen in all four quadrants for your bowel sounds, okay? Since I already have my septic scope out, I'm going to listen for some bruise. Going through the aortic area. And then the iliac and femoral. Since I didn't do it earlier, I'm going to listen to your carotid for any bruise. your abdomen. I'm going to start by doing all four quadrants. I'm going to get a general sound for any dullness or timpani. And then I'm going to percuss the major organs. So I'm going to start with the liver. Going to kind of get its borders and see if I think it's any enlarged at all. And then I'm going to look at the spleen. some palpation okay so I'm just gonna lightly press my hands on your stomach just a light palpation just feeling for any general uh, masses enlargements or anything like that I don't feel anything and then I'm gonna do some deep palpation to the some of your major organs so again I'm gonna feel the liver breathe in and breathe out all right and then I'm gonna do the spleen again and breathe in, and out. And then I'm gonna feel your kidneys on either side. So I'm gonna put one hand on your back and one on the front. And breathe in. Also going to feel for your femoral line here. And this pulsation is still normal so far. Let me check this one. that up and I'll just tuck it under. We're going to take a look at your abdomen. So I'm going to listen, I'm going to tap, and I'm going to do some light palpation and multi-key palpation too. First I'm going to take a listen.
probably, but when I do all the other stuff, I'm going to All right, I'm gonna have you put your legs kind of in a dime before me and I'm just gonna feel around right in here for your inguinal lymph nodes. And they're not swollen. All right, thank you. All right, so now I'm gonna listen to your bell sounds real quick. Now I'm going to do some tapping. All right, so that seems to be at the top. And then the bottom of her liver. Right, and we're going to go from All right, so the bottom we're getting some change in the sound all right I'm just gonna palpate I can't really feel it it's like kind of tucked right under in there all right all right so now I'm gonna tap over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap that I want you to breathe out several times Okay, great. No change in sound, so no enlarged spleen. I don't feel it. I'm just going to go ahead and I don't feel it. And then the kidneys, not enlarged. There, I think I feel that little bean right there. All right, so now I'm going to kind of do some pushing on your stomach. All right, a little bit harder. There is the pulse of the aorta. All right, and that seems to be the nid right there. And then right about there. All right, great. I didn't hurt you there. All right. Oh, I'll pull those up. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and inspect your abdomen for a few different things. Um, I'm just going to. All right, so her skin is uniform. It's um, it's warm, dry, and intact. The musculature and skeletal system is uniform and symmetrical bilaterally. Um, she does not have any pulsations, and um, her chest. It, I mean, her abdomen is flat and I'm not feeling any firmness. Is there any tenderness or pain when I push? No. All right, good. Okay, so I'm just gonna listen to your bowel sounds, okay? I'm gonna listen to your bowel sounds in all four quadrants, okay? okay. I'm going to start. Right lower quadrant. Okay. Left lower quadrant. Okay, 
left upper quadrant. So I heard a good amount of sounds within a minute. She had about 10 sounds, which is normal. Anything in between 5 to 34 sounds per minute. Um, I'm just going to feel for any masses on your abdomen, okay? Okay, so there's no masses, and you said there's no tenderness as I push, right? Perfect. Okay, so... Um, there. The abdominal assessment, um, have you had any changes or abnormalities within your urination lately? No. So no pain, frequency, urgency, things like that? Nope. All right, and same thing for the bowel movements. Have you been experiencing any abnormal bowel movements? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when was your last bowel movement? This morning. Okay. Have you had any pain within your abdominal region lately? Nope. Okay. Um, and have you had any changes in appetite lately? No. No? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you lie back. Okay. And go ahead and lift your shirt for me if you're comfortable with that. Okay. Um, I'm going to now visually inspect her abdominal region. Alrighty. So for skin, and is it okay if I touch yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so for skin integrity, um, the skin is smooth, dry, um, no signs of swelling, discoloration. Um, everything appears to be bilaterally symmetrical, even on both sides. Um, umbilical region is midline. Um, and she definitely has a flat abdomen. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your abdomen. Is that okay? Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna start by listening to the right upper quadrant. Now listening to the left upper quadrant. Now listening to the left lower quadrant. Now listening to the right lower quadrant. Alrighty, bowel sounds in all four quadrants are normal active. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and palpate your abdomen. You let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness. Okay. okay. All right, now palpating the right upper quadrant. Palpating the left upper quadrant. Palpating the left lower quadrant. And palpating the right lower quadrant. Any pain within this? Nope. Okay. Alrighty, so there were no signs of tenderness, um, masses, or depressions um, within all four quadrants. Are you comfortable with where you're at right now? Yeah. Okay. This completes our thoracic abdominal assessment. I'm just gonna perform hand hygiene and leave.